Shit. <laughs> hey there, Mars here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Yearning. Okay, let's go. Saturday, August 22nd, 2006. You wake up in a panic, wondering why your alarm didn't go off and worrying you'll be late for class. Then you remember, it's Saturday. Today is Saturday, the day I, I'm filming this. Wait a minute. August 26th. Okay. It's the 31st right now. Uh. Excuse me. God, Marge, you're so fucking rude. And your first weekend in college. You glance over at Adam's bed. He's drinking off, to your surprise. He's awake and looking back at you. Hey. Good morning. He yawns and rolls over, scratching his chest. Bad dream? Huh? You sounded like you were freaking out when you woke up. Oh yeah, I forgot I didn't have class today and thought I was late. Ha! Well, fortunately for you, it's not. And you've got an entire free day to do homework. He stretches. His penis. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm saying shit like that. His bed sheet has been pushed down to the waist. You take advantage of this opportunity to study his body. He looks back at you. Brock. So, uh, any plans for the day? You don't have m too much homework to do yet, and you've been making solid progress throughout the week. You can probably get the remaining project done in a couple hours, whenever. But you... But you could also get a head start on other homework while your workload is still light. You could see if Adam has any plans or wants to hang out. The frat house was awkward, but surprisingly enjoyable. Janet's also been bugging for you to hang, go to the LGBT club on campus. Q&A. Apparently it stands for Queers and Allies. Oh. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It would probably be a good way to meet people, but you're kind of scared to go. Telling Adam was one thing, but the thought of coming out to complete strangers is terrifying. Or you could spend the day exploring the campus without your parents in tow this time, pointing out every tree or statue and insisting you pose for pictures next to every academic building. It would be relaxing, and you've certainly had a busy first week. Head start on, ho head start. Start on homework. Adam's plans, go to Q&A, explore campus. Q&A, buddy. You gotta have more friends other than Adam. I was going to try to make a Q&A me meeting. Ah. Well, that makes sense. Hopefully that goes well for you. He yawns again before climbing out of bed and pulling on a shirt and jeans. I should probably get going then. You nod, go and go to your gay shit. You nod and watch as he picks up his backpack and heads out the door. You jump out of bed and unlock your computer, checking if Janet is online. Fortunately, she already seems to be awake. Uh, why am I awake already? The schedule is killing me and I can't even sleep in. Mars, why aren't you up yet? Uh. I'm here, I'm here. Going to Q&A today. Uh. Huh? E. You wince, remembering the last time you surprised her and she shrieked like that. You couldn't hear properly for a week afterward. You feel sorry for whoever her current roommate is. Mars, that's awesome. Oh crap, I think I woke my roommate, roomie up. This is your fault, Mars. Mm. Yeah, because your shrieks are known to break glass. Mm. She's... Being, I'm gonna go away from here. I'm gonna go away from here. You gonna be okay? Yeah, we'll see how this goes. It'll be great. Signed off. You sigh. That was certainly something. You get dressed and psych yourself up for the upcoming trip. You make the trek across campus to the student center. Standing in front of the building, you can feel your heartbeat quicken. Bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. I hit the microphone the first time. I'm not even in the building yet. I'm not even in the room yet. You can do this. Unable to walk in, you take a few slaps, slaps, a few slaps around campus instead. A bunch of people are out playing frisbee. A group sits with their laptops outside, backs against a building. You suppose they're doing homework. You return to the student center and again, feel a sense of dread creeping at you. You make it into the building and stand in front of the room. The door is shut, but you can hear voices from inside. You sit outside the door for a few minutes. Everyone inside bursts into laughter, and the sound make <laughs> just makes you feel even more terrified. I can't do this. No! 
you quickly leave the building designer to spend the day doing homework instead. Back in the safety of your room, you feel like you can breathe again. There's maybe a reason I've only been able to come out to two people. You wonder if you could get Adam to accompany you, or at least force you to actually enter the room. You manage to crank out some econ homework, but your mind isn't really in it. You decide to take a quick walk around campus to clear your head. Campus is still full of people out and about. A group bikes past you seemingly on the way to the park. Someone has a dog and it barks happily as people throw sticks for it to fetch. You sit with your back against the building and watch the scene for a bit. It makes you feel better, at least. You get back to your room in the late afternoon and decide you should probably take a shower. You grab your shower supplies and head toward the bathroom. Rounding the corner of the hallway, you literally run into Adam. The impact, impact knocks you both to the ground. Oh! Censorship! I'm downloading- I'm going to download... After I play this game, I want to download the patch and show you my reaction. Remind me to do that. Show you my reaction to the uncensored version of this. Somehow this towel comes loose and falls off him. Apparently, he isn't wearing anything thing underneath. You try to resist the urge to stare. Mars. He grabs a towel and throws it over himself. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say sorry. That's fine. He gets up and adjusts his towel. See you back at the room. Now that you see my penis. You have a pretty uneventful shower. When you get back to the room, he's picking up his backpack. Hey, sorry to bell on you, but Carlos has um, an emergency. Talk to you later. He nods at you and heads out the door. You sigh. There's been enough drama for one day. You check your messages, but Janet seems to be offline. You decide to return to your favorite campus buffet. The food is becoming almost edible. It kind of hurt that swallowing. The meal is fortunately uneventful. The mashed potato bar is one of the more unique things you've seen. But you're not sure you agree with the idea of wasabi mashed potatoes. Or mashed potatoes with barbecue sauce. Okay, mashed potatoes with barbecue sauce, yes. Not just like a little bit. Or, or mashed potatoes alongside of something that has barbecue sauce in it. Tempeh or something. Or chicken, or whatever, if that's what you eat. <laughs> uh, you choke down some potatoes and pair it with a slice of burnt pizza. You return to your room to find that Adam still hasn't returned. Janet isn't online either. You poke at your physics problems for a bit, waiting for Janet or Adam to show up, but neither do. You need more friends. At 11 p.m., you call it and send Janet an email before heading to bed. We didn't do anything on Saturday. Come on. Freaking scaredy. You've you're woken up by the feeling of your lips on by the feeling of lips on yours, a familiar scent around you. What? Good morning. You know, those girls were nothing compared to you. What? We could have made them jealous, the two of us. He grabs your cro crotch and you grasp at the gasp at the contact. Mars. He brings your hand to his chest. You curl your fingers in his chest hair. This could be real. You want it to be real. Too bad it isn't. <laughs> oh my god, that was really good. That was really good. Adam disappears. You snap awake for the for real this time. It's still dark outside. Your raging erection is almost painful. Oh my god. That's so funny. That's really, really fucking funny. I really have it bad, don't I? The sound of the door opening catches your attention. Adam and Carlos walk through the door. Adam notices you're awake. Crap, sorry Mars, didn't mean to wake you up. You yawn. It's fine, I was, uh... Up? Anyway. Adam nods, leading Carlos over to his desk and sitting him in the chair. I'm just not sure how I feel about twins, that's all. You don't have to sleep with them, dude. But this is easier. Anyways, thanks. Adam shrugs. There's silence for a few moments. So, uh, hi, Mars. Sorry to barge in like this on you so late, or early, as the case may be. 
I'm just, I'm not sure I want to deal with both of them at once, and it felt weird turning them down or something. Ashley and Leah, that is. Is it Lee? Because they're, here there's, it's like it's totally spelled differently. Ashley. Dude, that's what I said. Okay, Adam just shrugs. I mean, I'm all for a threesome. I just don't know how I feel about twins. What if I get them confused with each other? Adam laughs. I'm pretty sure it would be for it wouldn't be the first time for them, dude. Yeah, why do they sleep together with people? Is that a thing twins do? I don't know, I'm not a twin. I don't know, I feel You know, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm just gonna crash on the floor here or something. Ashley and Leah are probably still making the rounds at the house. Like hell you are. Take the bed. Chico, I couldn't do that to you. You could share my bed instead. Quit your yapping already. It's like 12.30 or something. We already woke Mars up. He yawns, pulling off his shirt and grabbing some clothes from his dresser. He makes a pile on the floor, lying down and using them uh, as a pillow. Are you sure? Shut up already. Shut up. Already. Shut up. Already asleep. Oh, shut up. Already asleep. Thanks, Chico. Carlos climbs into Adam's bed. You roll over and try to find a comfortable position for your boner to be. Good night, Mars. Actually, Sunday now. You startle awake. The sun is out, bathing the room in light. You rub your eyes and look around, trying to find the source of the disturbance. Adam is sprawled out on the ground, snoring softly. He's nowhere near the pile of clothes anymore. It's a wonder he doesn't fall out of bed. Always fall out of bed. You take advantage of the situation to take him all in. You don't think you'll ever tire of looking at him. From the other bed, Carlos makes a sound. Something like a choked moan. He spouts off some words in Spanish that you can't follow or understand. Then he smiles, still asleep. Guess he's having a nice dream or something. You roll back over, facing the wall to try and block out the light. Then Carlos says your name. What? I must be hearing things. Or it's some other Mars. Also, he's straight. You stare at the wall for what feels like an eternity, trying to listen. Unfortunately, he's gone quiet, tossing in his sleep restlessly. You close your eyes, trying to will the sleep back before a loud thud and a sequence of curses startles you. You turn around to see that Adam has somehow managed to hit his head against his desk chair in his sleep. Ow. Carlos grins, apparently also awakened by the noise. I told you I should, I should, sleep. I should sleep on the floor. Jackass. He stands, rubbing his head. Carlos pulls back the covers and sits on the edge of the bed. You notice he has an erection. Apparently he realizes he does this it does as well because he quickly pulls the sheet back over himself. You okay? Yeah, I just you expand to fill all available space. No, not you and that gas pun again. That's hilarious. Oops. No, no, no. It's a- it's a gas. I hate you. Seriously, though, you okay? I didn't get it. I wasn't- paying. I don't know. Yeah, I was just... Uh, yeah, was just unexpected is all. He looks over at you. Sorry, Mars. Wait, you farted? I was already awake anyway, it's fine, say nothing. I was awake. Oh, yeah? Couldn't sleep? No, I was just... Staring at the wall, trying to fall back asleep, staring at you, listening to Carlos. <coughs> I'll say listening to Carlos. Uh, what? You talk in your sleep. You talk in your sleep while I was trying to learn Spanish, listening to Carlos have wet dreams about me. Let's do the Spanish one. Aha! Que extraño eres, no? You're a strange one, Mars. Exactly. Wait, what? Anyway, it's ten. Might as well get up. He grabs a nearby shirt and pulls it on. Speak for yourself. Ten is prime sleeping time. He flops down on the bed again. Adam pokes him in the side and he lets out a yelp. Adam! Up and Adam, boy! I'm up, I'm up! <coughs> so, any plans for the day, Mars? You could get ahead starting your homework load, in case your social life suddenly takes off. You've also been meaning to call your parents, but they have a tendency to blabber on for hours. You could also see if Adam and Carlos want to do anything. Or you could take the day to relax before your class load really hits you. Hmm. So, we got homework, parents, 
Carlos and Adam, not really relaxing. Let's see what they're doing. Nope. You never have plans, Carlos. It's a miracle and you're still here. Hey, where's the TA here? Who's the TA here? Me or you? Not anymore, you're not. Well, sure. But still, I was probably going to go to the gym for a bit, but uh, then get some food and try to get this project done. Why don't you hang out with Carlos today? Mars will do absolutely nothing and it will be amazing. You get out of bed and unlock your computer. Good morning, hope your Q&A visit went well and you picked out lots of guys. I'm gonna go shopping with Lisa, I think, but talk to you tonight. You'll never understand her need to sign off whenever she steps away. Then again, you religiously locked your computer, so maybe you shouldn't be one to talk. Anyway, I probably should be going. Have fun, you two. I was gonna hit the pool or something. Exercise and sleep, the two best things. You're welcome to join. Go swimming, hang out on your own. We've been spending too much time alone. I'm gonna hang with Carlos. Sounds good, wanna go now? The two of you head to the student center pool. You're heading to the lockers when Carlos stops. I uh, forgot I don't have my swimsuit with me and I should probably avoid going back to the house for now. You're wearing shorts and you're wearing shorts and could possibly lend them to him. Why don't you just swim naked? That sucks. You can use my shorts. Let's just say it. Let's just say it. Naked. He stares at you. This is a terrible idea for many reasons. Um, not that I have anything with, to hide, of course. I totally would if all these people weren't around. I just, uh, I should go. He turns and leaves before you can say another word. Oh, no! You decide to do some swimming anyway, even if it's by yourself. By the time you finish and look at a clock, it's already late afternoon. You pay the adjacent gym a visit in case Adam is still there, but it's full of strangers. You decide to go to dinner instead. You head to your usual buffet. The food is average, as usual. Afterward, you head back to your room exhausted. Must have been all the physical activity. You don't f bother checking your messages, instead climbing into bed and falling asleep almost immediately. It's Monday, fug. You dutifully wake up on Monday to your alarm. Adam continues snoring softly from the other bed. Looks like he's learned to sleep through it. After a quick shower, you head to your intro programming lecture. You take a random seat in the room. You're staring to recognize many of the faces there, although you don't really know any of their names. A short Asian girl walks into the room and looks around. Her long black hair has streaks of red through it. She heads over to the seat next to you and sits down. Hello? I'm Hannah. Hey, I'm Mars. Hello. Acknowledge her. I'm Mars. You reluctantly introduce yourself to her. Nice to meet you, Mars. You found a collectible. Now I have her ID. I'm just stealing everyone's ID every time I meet them. Eat, 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 eat. Brand new. An Indian boy arrives and takes a seat to your right. Okay. Wait, he's big. Why is he so much bigger than her? His short hair stands up wildly as if he didn't have a chance to comb it this morning. He smiles at you and sits down. This is Nikhil. Nikhil, this is Mars. Nice to meet you, Mars. He's cute. He seems nice. Cute. You try your hardest not to stare at him, but you think he's pretty cute. His... <laughs> this is kind of a weird thing. His arms have surprisingly thick... A surprisingly thick layer of hair, and you have the sudden urge to see how hairy the rest of him is. Oh my god! You force yourself to look away from him. Another dramatic turn of the head, and mumble something greeting and mumble some greeting in response. The room begins to fill up, and the professor, professor brings the room to order. Order, order! Ahem, Professor Lee. Today we'll, we will be continuing our study of data structures, but with something a little more complicated. But for this next assignment, you'll need a partner. Before we all get settled, I'd like you to pick your partners now. If you don't have anyone to pick, raise your hand and we'll pair you up. You sure... You sure are glad you just met a couple of seemingly, seemingly friendly people. Hannah or Nikhil? Alright, Nikhil. I was going to partner with Jake anyway. So that works great. You find a collectible mouse sticker. A sticker of a standard two-button mouse. Oh, I was going to show you my mouse, but it's corded, so I can't bring it up high enough. You notice that an Asian guy has sat down next to Hannah. His medium-length black hair is also streaked with red, and he looks nervous. 
<laughs> meh. That's what my little brother says. I hate meh. I hate that. It's not... It's just, like, so dismissive. I don't... I don't know. I just really don't like it. Like, eh. I would prefer eh over meh. So I'm gonna say, why, hello there. You look into his eyes, and he stares back at you warily before looking away nervously. <laughs> Why is everyone doing this? You think he's absolutely adorable. That's Jake, Nikhil's roommate. He's shy. Oh, that's Jake, okay. Jake blushes at this. This is Mars. Nice to meet you. What kind of name is Jake? Okay, so I have their IDs. Oh. Oops, okay. Anyone still without a partner? Keep your hands raised. Raise them up. A few hands remain up as you watch as the TAs go around the room, pairing people up. Professor Lee waits for everyone to settle in their new seats. Good. It is my hope that you have picked a partner that is most unlike you. In particular, unlike you in their coding style. You will each... Sorry. You will each be comp completing an assignment. Then you will hand your code to your partner and they will continue the assignment. Oh. A study in, shall we say, coding to other people, coding so other people can understand it. The TAs tell me several of you need instruction in this. Murmurs spread around throughout the room. This isn't good. My coding is total garbage. Um, I'll help you through it, Hannah. You will not be allowed to see your partner's code until they have finished the first portion. Maybe not. Oh my god, oh my god. The lecture continues, but you can tell Hannah isn't really pay paying attention. At the end, she quickly gathers her things and leaves! Jake follows close behind her. Well, that's unfortunate. This is kind of mean, but I'm glad you're my partner. She's awesome and talented at so many things. She's just so new to programming. I'm sure we're all alike that we were all like that when we started. Really, she has no confidence in her abilities, but still. Anyway, I gotta run to my C ECE class. See you around. I don't know what ECE means. The rest of the cla day's, day's classes are uneventful. At the end of the day, you head back to your room. Adam is sitting at his desk with headphones on, typing something on his computer. You're not sure how he manages to work with that broken screen. He turns and notices you as you dump your backpack on your bed. Hey Mars, how was your day? Pretty good. Anyway, I have to finish writing this. Excuse me. He returns to typing. You unlock your computer. Janet is, of course, not online yet. You're reading the latest university crime report email when Adam interrupts you. Hey Mars, sorry to interrupt. Just wanted to see if you wanted to get dinner tonight. You're not sure you want to deal with the frat house tonight, so you decline. He nods. Well, I'm going to head out and find Carlos in. See you tonight. You check some random websites before figuring you should start on some homework. Before you know it, it's dinner time. You decide to go to the burger place and see what their fry flavor of the day is. The burger place is out of beef, so you settle for a turkey burger. I never had a turkey burger when I... Um, I guess I've had turkey, but I've never had a turkey burger back when I like ate meat. Wasn't really much of a thing back in my day as a meat eater. The fries of the day are spinach and kumquat. What is that? What? Not the weirdest combination, I suppose. You pass on the fries. You eat quickly and head back to your room to continue doing homework. When you return, Adam is back typing on his laptop. He smiles at you, then continues working. You unlock your computer. Janet is now online. So pooped, uh, so pooped. Oh, so pooped. Ugh, Mondays. I gotta write something down. You tell her about your day. Sounds like a fun project. Yeah, hope I don't screw it up. Your partner seems neat at least. Yeah, he's a total CS geek. Well, then easy peasy. The two of you talk until Janet declares it's bedtime. You figure you can call it an early night. Adam looks up as you get changed. Is this gonna bother you too much if I keep working? You shake your head and he nods, turning on his desk light. Good night. You lie under the covers, thoughts of the day swirling in your head. You soon drift off to a comfortable sleep. It's Tuesday. 
The rest of the week seems to fly by. You share your AIM screen name with Jake, Nikhil, and Hannah and have frequently frequent friendly conversations with him. Jake seems to open up to you a lot more when he doesn't have to talk in person. You also often have dinner with them. It's nice not eating alone. Nikhil turns out to be an excellent partner. When he hands his portion of the code to you, it's easily readable and extensible. Adam buries himself in writing. Apparently he misunderstood his essay topic and had to do a rewrite. You suspect his paper was full of mistakes due to the condition of his laptop screen. You offer to scream. <laughs> you offer to let him borrow yours, but he waves you away telling you he's ordered a new one. Carlos comes by from time to time to see if Adam wants to hang out. The two of you spend time together. I thought it said together in bed. Together instead, laughing over pizza and root beer. You find yourself increasingly attracted to him. Friday, Friday, getting down on Friday. Soon it's Friday, and you leave your calc lecture to enjoy the warm air and contemplate the weekend possibilities. As you're walking across campus, you run to Adam almost literally. Once again, this is like, what, the third time? His head is buried in a book. He's always buried. Whoa, Mars. Oh, look at the facial hair. How are you? I was just heading to the house for dinner. Well, for dinner later. Just heading over for now. Do you want to join me? You're needing to finish up homework for class, but could use the social interaction. You also kind of like to visit the frat house again. <laughs> Ready to get spit roasted. Never mind. <laughs> you were also thinking of seeing if Nikhil, Jake, and Hannah were interested in doing anything. Sure, need to do work. Sorry, had other plans already. Let's see what the nerds are doing. He nods. Well, see you tonight then. He walks off and you head back to your room. He really wants me to hang out with his frat buddies. Back at your room, you unlock your computer. Jake has already messaged you. Hey, Mars. We were going to go play some board games. Of course you were! Want to join us? The piles of papers on your desk remind you that you do have an assignment due at midnight tonight. Ah. Let's play board games. Sounds good. Where should we meet? We were going to grab some food first. Do you know that burger place with the fries? You meet up with Jake, Nikhil, and Hannah at the burger place. The fries today are garlic and rosemary. Ooh, I love garlic and rosemary. That's surprisingly normal. What does that smell? You get a burger and fries only to find out the garlic was infused with anchovy juice. Anyone want my fries? I'll eat them. The three of you watch Jake shovel anchovy fries into his mouth. Strangely, you find you enjoy watching him eat. I don't know how you do it, Jake. Jake stares at the three of you, mouth stuffed full of fries. Do what? Soon you finish eating and find a table at the student center. It's a strange triangular table with a bench on each side. The three of them each take a side. Stupid modern furniture. Nikhil, Jake, Hannah. Nikhil. You figure sitting next, sitting with Nikhil makes it easier to steal glances at Jake. Oh. He looks at you seemingly excited about games. What are we playing? How about... Diamant? Someone's feeling lucky today. I don't know what that fucking game is. Hey, it's my turn to win something, right? The game turns out to be fairly simple. It's a push-your-luck style game where you collect treasure and avoid traps. Jake easily wins the first game with more than 50 gems. Rematch. The second game is closer, and you and Hannah are the only players left near the end. There's a lot of treasure left to grab, but there's also a lot of traps showing already. Hannah looks at you, contemplating. Find more treasure, leave with your existing hall. Leave. You place the card with your choice down. Hannah looks at you, then chooses one from her own. One of her own. The two of you reveal your cards. Hannah continues while you leave. Yeah, that's totally what I should do too. But now Mars can't win. Jig shrugs. It's not always about winning. It's about avoiding those snakes. Snakes. On a plane. On a plane. In Spain. Mainly in the plane. Of snakes. Uh, boys? Sorry, sorry. 
Jake flips over a card, nerds. And treasure! Ah, uh, yeah, I stop now, obviously. With the extra haul, Hannah beats you pretty soundly. Well, that was exciting. I want to play Lost Cities. What is it with you and exploration and lake... Lake-based games. Luck. Maybe just feeling lucky tonight. Jake shrugs. We could do that, but that only supports two people. I could play with her. I'll play with Nikhil. You try not to sound too eager, but he just smiles at you and shrugs. Or that. Bring it on, Jake. How about some... Carcassa... Carcassony. Car... Carcassony. <laughs> I know it's it's not right. <laughs> the two of you build cities for a while as Jake and Hannah play some complicated looking card game. You find a collectible. Blue D6. Okay, yeah. I won! Haha, <laughs> good job. We're done here as well, I think. Well, how about one more game with all of us before we call it a night? I'm just gonna say don't say anything. Mikhail looks through the piles of games. Set. The four of you match shapes for a while. Jake, of course, dominates. You always win this. It's not my fault you're bad at matching patterns. Uh, set. No, these two have the same shape. There are no more sets left. We're done. Oh. Well, I think I'm heading to bed. It's like 11. I should probably get some work done. Jake yawns and stretches sleepily. You try not to stare. Well, this is fun. Thanks, all. The four of you head back to your respective rooms. Adam is there. He's standing by his bed. Oh. With a book. Hey, Mars. Hey, what's wrong with you? What? How was your evening? Let's say what evening. Not bad. How was games? Pretty fun. There are these cute guys there. There was this cute guy there. Let's just say pretty fun. Awesome. Anyway, excuse me. I have to finish this reading. You look at the stack of homework on your desk. Looks like you're going to have to reassign, resign, resign yourself to failing this assignment. There's no way you're completing it by midnight. You unlock your computer. I have to run lines. I just wanted to say hi and hope you had a good evening. You leave her some messages describing your day. On the other side of the room, Adam stretches off. Stre <sighs> on the other side of the room, Adam stretches and pulls off his shirt. I'm uh, going to bed. He winces as he pulls off his shorts. But feel free to stay up and do what you need to. Are you okay? Are you okay? He winces again as he climbs into bed. Yeah, just got a little rough today. He gingerly pulls the sheets over him. I'll be fine. I was going to bed too, I think. You quickly change and turn off the light. Good night, Mars. Keep going for a little bit. Se Saturday. You're woken up by a knock at the door. Adam blinks groggily, looking over at you and yawning. I'm not expecting anyone. Me neither. You get up and open the door. Hey, Mars. He walks into the room. Adam, Chico, I need some help. Adam yawns again and sits up. Girl trouble again, Carlos? No, actually, girls are the opposite of trouble right now. Adam stands and stretches. You try not to stare too openly. I, uh, need some anatomy homework help with some anatomy homework okay so this is the penis this is the anus dude you're a junior you're in higher level classes than me i kind of didn't read the book at all so read the book but you know all this stuff already you actually care about this stuff fine fine he searches around for a shirt i should do laundry great thanks chico so uh how are you mars not too bad sleepy since he woke us up i'm gonna say not too bad you should totally come do work with us today. Adam finds a relatively clean shirt and a pair of pants and pulls them on. Carlos, Mars probably has plans other than doing homework today. He's actually, you know, on top of his shit. And also, he's not taking any biology or ana anatomy courses this semester. Still, it'll be fun. Go ahead, get ahead with on homework with Adam and Carlos. See what Jake is up to, Hannah and Akil. Another attempt to attend Q&A. Let's try to do homework. Actually, that does sound fun. Like fun. I can always do more work. Carlos, dude, you should learn from this guy. 
What can I say? I love me some sleep. You should also love you some graduating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was that? D is for diploma? Dude, seriously. Yeah, yeah, I got it, Chico. Adam looks around the room. Actually, I'm going to throw some laundry in first. Why don't the two of you go ahead to the library and I'll meet you, meet up with you in a bit. Cool, cool. Thanks, Chico. He heads out the door. You quickly get dressed before grabbing your bag and rushing to catch up. Hey, Mars. Why are you in biology anyway if you don't like it? How are things with you? You should be more responsible. I'm going to ask about biology. He shrugs. It's easy and I don't have to... Uh, uh, an alternative I like more. Seems like you don't like this major at all anyway. As I said, anyway. Isn't this weather amazing? <laughs> he unbuttons a few additional buttons on his shirt. The wind catches it and blows it open. You try not to stare. So, uh, you making friends okay? Need us to drag you out of the house more often? I'd appreciate being dragged back sometime. Just fine, thanks. I met some people, actually. I'll say yeah. He laughs. Good, good. He throws an arm over your shoulders. Wouldn't want you to be all lonely or anything. Anyway, here we are. Don't know why anyone would voluntarily, sp voluntarily spend time here. I claim temporary insanity. The two of you find a table, and he pulls out a book. Advanced anatomy, man. What's the point? This thing is connected to that thing. This or this thing is connected to that thing. This bone is connected to that bone. I'm pretty sure there's more to it than that. Yeah, but who cares? He sighs. Guess I might as well start by reading this. You find a collectible anatomy notes. Carlos's notes for anatomy, advanced anatomy. It's just drawings of dicks. You pull out your penis. You pull out your own work and start on some calculus problems. Out of the corner of your eye, you notice Carlos watching you. What's up? Don't say anything? I'll say what's up. Huh? Nothing. Just reading my book. Or trying to. What's up with you? You're interrupted by Adam's arrival. He grabs a chair and sits at the table with the two of you. Hey guys, sorry that took so long. No worries, Chico. I started reading this textbook. Dude, is that even the right textbook? How should I know? Adam sighs. Do you have your class syllabus? This kind of tastes like hot dog water right now chocolate starfish and hot dog flavored water probably not i'm gonna go look up your class website he grabs carlos's arm and drags him away toward the computers you're coming with me you manage to fish finish your calculus and start some physics problems before they return carlos sits down and adam plops a large different textbook in front of him okay we're gonna go over this now uh sorry for distracting you mars it's your fault he came along and now you're going to not let him work on in peace? Dude, you invited him, remember? Let's just do this. The three of you work for hour, a few hours. Adam ex Adam's expl explanations seem to be getting through to Carlos. Adam excuses himself a little while later to move laundry. Carlos is muttering to himself, scribbling some answers on a sheet of paper. So how were you a TA for anatomy again? Everything okay? going okay? Let him work. I'll say everything okay. Yeah, it's just the nervous system is so complicated. I don't know how Adam remembers any of this stuff, man. Adam soon returns, bringing three sandwiches with him. I could take one. Carlos reaches for one. Thanks, Chico. Adam slaps his hand away. Bop! Nope, Mars gets first pick since he's been diligently working all morning. I've been working diligently all morning. Adam rolls his eyes. Take the ham sandwich, the roast beef, the turkey. I'll take ham. Carlos grabs the roast beef sandwich. Dibs. Pulled penis here, level three. Dibs. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? Uh, Adam sighs and takes the turkey for himself. You eat your sandwiches in relative silence. Nice weather we're having. How's the homework going? Just eat. Just eat. After lunch, the three of you return to work. Adam has brought along some physics homework as well. He laughs when you tell him you hate it. Yeah. I can never get my numbers to work out either. Wait until you get to physics too. At least you at least now you know when the numbers don't make sense. You work through the afternoon and by the dinner the time dinner rolls around, you've managed to get a good amount done. 
Dinner? Are you done? Done enough. Adam grabs his paper and looks it over. Nope, not done. Dude, the cervical nerves are not responsible for the female orgasm. Wow. It seemed right. Adam sighs. Mars, don't let us keep you here. This may be a while. But it's meat and potatoes right night at the house. It's always potatoes night. It's been potatoes night for days. We'll have to drag you out of the house some other night for dinner, Mars. You leave the two of them to their work and decide to hit up the campus buffet. Outside the door, you run to Hannah, Jake, and Nikhil. Oh, they're always hanging out. Mars, we were just going to get dinner. You should join us. The four of you will find a table together. This spaghetti looks a little underdone. Somebody touch my spaghetti! <coughs> Aren't the noodles supposed to bend? Why don't these noodles bend? Why does this campus have nothing but terrible food? Hey, the burger place has pretty good burgers and fries. No, no, they do not have good fries. You settle at your table with your food and watch Jake wolf down plate after plate. I still don't know how you do it, Jake. Black hole stomach. Singularity. Quantum singularity. Qua... Uh... Qua... Black hole. Also a stomach of steel. Stomach of steel. Stomach of steel? Stomach of theft and burglary. Burglary. Well, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Stomach heart. Lub dub, lub dub, gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Sometimes I don't know why we're friends. Lub dub. After dinner, you all go your separate ways. You head back to your room to see if Janet's around. Adam's already back when you return. His shirt looks a little worse for wear. Oh shit! Been hanging out with Scyther or something? Hey Mars. He notices you staring. Oh yeah, don't use that third dryer from the right, or I guess watch it if you do or something. I thought it was weird that there was an empty dryer. He returns to reading, and you unlock your computer. Good morning, my brain hurts. Too many lines. Mars! Fine, I see how it is. Mm, there's a song for you. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early night? No, you can't, because you're not here. Hope you had fun today. You realize you didn't message her in the morning. Here now, sorry. Was out all day. Out and proud? No, out doing homework. With Carlos and Adam. Ooh, homework, eh? More like threesome time. You talk for a bit about your day before figuring it's time for bed. Adam looks up at you as you get changed. Off to bed? Yeah. Well, good night then. You climb into your bed and stare at the ceiling. Today was a good day. Sunday. You're woken up Sunday by a knock at the door. Again. And... I'm gonna leave it there. Who's at the door? Is it Carlos again with a major erection? We'll have to see in part three of Yearning. Okay, bye.